June last year, me and Womble did a two-day track event at Snetterton. This was back in the days when I had the S1000RR. That bike has now gone back to BMW. But this is the part two of the track day video. A lot of people have been requesting what happened to this video. Well, one person. So make yourself comfortable, grab a cup of tea, and chop seat, roll the intro. Day two. Day two. There he is. In Day the two in the Schnetterton house. Well, we've just driven here from the uh, cottage and it's been rain all the way here, but it seems so far they've avoided any rain at the circuit, but I can't see it lasting because it was just raining all the way in on it. Well, as suspected, the dryness didn't last. It's rained now. Just had a little dousing on the track, so. Um, probably going to head down to Mackey's, <laughs> get a breakfast, and then wait for it to hopefully dry up. Forecast is it's going to dry up, but uh, yes, the reprobates are here. Stop now. The sun's actually uh, trying to break through up there. But another hour. I think we missed the first session because we're meant to be out next because we're inters. So I think we'll miss a session and jump out. Then now it's time. Next session then. Next session one, but I reckon. Think about bringing it? Yeah, well, for now, we're stood out in the bottom of the car park. <laughs> I've got my chair in there. Get my chair out. I on your I've got my chair in there. Hold you. The old trailer's holding up. We've had this trailer about uh, four years ago, five years ago. Yeah, got the trailer. Good. Got it. It's, it's really good moto lug. I've got a full review of this when I first got it on the channel somewhere. But you can have it in one or two bike configuration. Obviously, it doesn't often get used in a two bike, but I've got it in a two bike setup today. And uh, yeah, it's been absolutely spot on. Absolutely spot on. It all comes apart. It's all held together with split pins and stuff. It all completely comes apart. So I just store this in the roof, in the loft of my garage because it's all fully uh, detachable. It takes about 20 minutes to build, if that, really. But, um, yeah, i still got that. So a lot of people ask what, what trailer I use, and it's that Moto Lug. Now, it seems to have dried up. It's sort of on and off rain. I don't think it's going to improve. It's warming the bikes. And we're going to hit our first session. Wish us luck. You ready, Wobble? You ready to rock? Ready to rock and roll. That was a disaster. Bit wet, started raining as soon as we got out there. Once you got water on your visor, cold tyres obviously, first session of the day, so we had to warm the tyres up properly. A little bit of moisture, someone come off. Just as I was starting to put, build the speed, it caused a bit of a traffic jam, but I'm just not prepared to go quick, you know, when you've got cold tyres and everything, first session of the day. So, full lap to warm it up. As soon as I started to go, rain on the visor, it's not nice. No, it's mental rain. But then someone come off anyway, there's red flag, so. Womble was right, we should have waited a little bit longer. 
course now, after the session, it's all brightened up. So hopefully next time we'll get a dry session without any rain on the visor to put you off. But uh, yeah, come back in a minute. They're good luck charms, they are. Look at these. Wagon wheels used to be twice the size of that, didn't they, when you were kids? Much better. Much better, no. Well, I was, I was a bit younger than you. Oh, well, yeah, you are still a kid, aren't <laughs> you? I forgot that. In the 70s, on the 80s, well, in the 70s, end of the 70s, wagon wheels were twice as big as that. It used to cost me two shillings. Chocolate man. <laughs> Just noticed this morning that I've lost my baffle. <laughs> I must not have locked tied it in, so I've lost my baffle. I thought it got a little bit louder yesterday, it seemed to pop and bang a little bit more. So <clears throat> let's hope I don't get um, red flag today, or black flag even. Because I've lost my baffle, that was titanium as well. It's a Diet Coke man. session.
we got the bikes back on the trailer. End of the day, I think I had two really good sessions. Last two sessions, absolutely fine. That last session we, we just I just did was dry. One ball bottled it, didn't you? Bottled it. Didn't want to do it. It had enough. Um, BMW was just incredible, incredible. So fast that last session. <laughs> but yeah, been brilliant. You enjoyed it. Enjoyed it, it, mate. Loved it. Weather could have been better. Yeah, it's trouble. It's been really difficult with the rain. So it's like. The track was a little bit wet, a little bit slippery at some point, wasn't it? When we went out, there was, and there's people crashing and coming off, and you think, oh, you know, it takes a little while to build up the speed, especially when you've got to warm the tyres up and you haven't got any warmers, you know, it's a couple of laps and you've got a bit of dampness as well. So, yeah, that was a shame. The weather could have been better, but the uh, bike has been fantastic. Been really impressed with the race tech tyres. It's starting to tear a little bit where I think you've got the join between the compounds, but. Overall, it's been brilliant. No moments, no moments on the tyres. You've got the Super Coursers on Womble's machine, but uh, yeah, it's been it's been amazing. Really enjoyed it, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Cheers, guys. See you next time. This is Power Level One, which is full power. <laughs> What have you done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh! Backfire! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Listen to me. Oh, oh.